Hey everyone, I'm Lorenz and this video is a compilation which contains a review for every backyard sports game released on the PS2. Enjoy the video. Backyard basketball is the same as the whole franchise. It takes a sport, this time basketball, and simplifies it. Adds some cute visuals, some power-ups, and makes it more child-friendly. And it does exactly that. So don't expect a cute looking NBA game, because you won't get that. Instead, the game is super casual and far away from a simulation game. Controls are loose, gameplay is super simple and you play only 3 on 3 to simplify stuff. There are many fictional teams in the game and also real NBA teams and when it comes to players, you decide who's on which team. You get a handful of players and you choose like kids would before a match who's on which team. But the only main difference between the teams is the logo, because players blend in. Also you get a handful of cards. And as game modes, you get pretty bare bone ones. But at least you get so many games. Backyard Basketball 2007 adds pros. Meaning that now there are some real life pros turned into cute kids. You can now create your own player. And instead of multiple mini games, you get just one. In Rust, the game is the same as last year. It's a great game for casual players and for little kids, but not for anyone who wants death or a challenge. I mean, the game is pretty straightforward. Run for the basket, press to shoot. Intercept, run for the basket, press to shoot. And occasionally use some power-ups. The gameplay is super casual. That's, that's the summary of the gameplay in both games. So overall, the games don't have any functional flaws, but they're very dull. At least a story or a franchise mode would have given them some more life. But in this state they are, playing a handful of matches will bore you, and you will leave the game on your shelf gathering dust. Backyard football is excellent for kids or anyone who wants to play something super casual. The game's appeal are the cute visuals and simple gameplay. You get 19 backyard teams and all 32 NFL teams, but only as logos, because before each game you pick which player who plays on which team, like kids will do in the backyard. There are only 20 plays in the playbook. And due to the AI and the game's simple nature, the plays don't actually play any strategic role. You can choose whichever you want, you're going to score most probably anyway. Also players move sluggish, they don't move like athletes in Madden games. Still the game is surprisingly enjoyable to play if you're not eagerly pursuing the game to be a Super Bowl broadcast, because it's not. There are some nice details that show that the game is the result of hard work, like the reflections on the helmets or the fact that the players have stats, and there are replays. The game isn't just slapped together, it's just tailored for kids, that's why it's simplified. Anyway, if you have a kid or want to play something super casual, this game might work. Now let's delve into differences. The games don't differ much, especially in gameplay. No matter which one you get, you should basically have the same experience. They didn't bother to fix the repetitive and low quality sounds, they didn't fix the commentators having only a handful of lines, and they didn't bother to make the controls more engaging, or adding more modes or alternative control options. The franchise is pretty lazy. They managed to make a good game on first try, and from there they mostly just milked the franchise without making it better. Still, the franchise is okay -ish. They aren't bad games, they are enjoyable. I'm just ranting about that they didn't bother to fix what was wrong with each iteration. Rather, they are almost the same game, gameplay-wise, each year. But still, as I said, the games are enjoyable, and little kids will like them for sure. But mostly just preteen kids. Okay, adults can enjoy the games too. But for anyone older, there are better football games out there. Still, these ones are super casual experiences, and if you're looking for that, then you will find that in these games. Backyard Baseball uses the same strategy 
as the whole franchise. Only that this time it translates baseball into a casual and child friendly game. There are again all MLB teams in the game and again they are just a picture and before a match you choose who you want on your team. The controls are intuitive but lack the depth of an MLB video game because the game tries to be as simple and easy to pick up as it can be. You get the same game modes as on big games like MLB, the only downside to the game is that the graphics don't look good, especially compared to the future backyard baseball games. Also the game is so slow, not just compared to future titles, but slow in general. Backyard Baseball 2007 cranked up the difficulty because so many complained about it in the previous iterations on other consoles. And now, some people complain that it's more difficult. You can't please anyone, I guess. And even if you can change the difficulty in the settings, even the easier one is still pretty tough for the target audience, the little kids. Hitting can be challenging even with auto-aim because 2007 borrowed from the simulation games. The controls are complicated for kids because there are so many options and so many button combinations. Also player stats are unbalanced, which will lead to unfair games. Also, there are many bugs present in the game. It might look better, but the game feels many times half-baked. Backyard Baseball 2009 continues with the complicated control scheme. The game is still very slow-paced, but strangely, the game is still enjoyable to play. It has the same wealth of modes, it's again easy to pick up in spite of the controls, and it's cute. New to the game is the character creation tool, in Rust, it's pretty much the same gameplay wise. But it has new content, meaning different stadiums, different players. 